Choices Count was made possible in part by generous contributions from Century 3 at Universal Studios Florida. Hi, I'm Tom Selleck. Teaching kids to make good choices is one of the most important things we can do. But it isn't easy. That's why the Character Counts Coalition has made this video, Choices Count. Our first video, Kids for Character, is used in schools and daycare centers and in the homes of hundreds of thousands of families. Developing the theme that character counts. It introduces kids to the six pillars of character, trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship, core values that we all share. This video takes the next step, applying these important principles of character to the kinds of choices we make all the time. The idea that choices count is presented in words and music that teaches kids to think about the importance of conscience and the consequence of their choices. Whether our children will lead happy and meaningful lives depends on their character and the kinds of choices they make. This video is a project of the Nonprofit Character Counts Coalition, a growing partnership of over 200 national and regional organizations dedicated to helping young people develop strong character. I hope adults and kids will enjoy this video together, and I especially hope you and your children will learn the words to each song and discuss what they mean. And now I'm pleased to present to you Choices Count. Choices Count, starring Bananas in Pajamas, The Big Comfy Couch, Eddie Coker, Joe Scruggs, and Wishbone, featuring the Character Count Kids.
choose my attitude Making choices is the test I must always do my best Making choices every day favorite game show where the pie's the limit. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's play What Should You Do? Now, here's your wacky pie-throwing host, Duck Quick. Hi, kids. I'm Duck Quick, and it's time to play What Should You Do? Okay, your dad is watching the news on TV. You ask him if you can watch cartoons. He says, not until after the news is over. Now, what should you do? I went to my bedroom crying. I'd stomp and yell and jump up and down until I got my way. <laughs> I'll play quietly with my toys until the news was over. Great attitude! Now that's the way to show respect. Stay tuned, kids, because there's more. What should you do coming up? Consequences are the things that happen because of the choices we make. Like if I chose to stay home today, my teammates would have been mad at me. It's a long fly ball to center field. It's going. It's going. It's gone. It's a home run. And I would not have hit a home run. See, every choice you make has a consequence. The bananas in pyjamas were painting a new bench at the beach. It had been pink, but the bananas liked things to be yellow. Oh, you missed a bit, B1. So I did, B2. There. All finished. <laughs> oh, you missed a bit, B2. Oh, so I did, B1. There. How's that, B1? <sighs> the teddies were just getting ready to go jogging. <gasps> 
we go three times around the park, over to the beach, then back here, and no stopping. Ready? Go! Hey! Wait for us, Lulu! Morgan! Oh, coming. Come on! <coughs> Painting the bench had been hard work, but now it was finished. Perfect. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's rest time. We were nearly silly bananas, B1. Very, very silly bananas, B2. The bananas knew they couldn't sit on the wet paint, so they went off to wash their brushes. <sighs> 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 I need a rest. Oh. oh, no. Oh, I'm supposed to run without stopping. But I'm really tired. And oh, nobody's looking. Oh. Wait, stop. Oh, what's the matter, bananas? You can't sit there. We've only oh. just painted that oh. bench. And the paint's oh. still wet. Well, you should have a sign that says wet paint. Um, we've got one of those, haven't we, B2? <gasps> Here it is, B1. Oh! <laughs> um, <laughs> now, everyone will know not to touch it. <laughs> Come on, Lulu. Come on. Okay. <laughs> but they hadn't been gone very long when Amy came past. Oh, I need a rest. <sighs> oh, mm, wet paint. Oh, Bother! But Amy couldn't help wondering if the bench was really wet. Uh, uh, yeah. oh. uh, maybe no one will notice. Oh. But the next person to come along was Morgan, and he was tired too. Oh, oh, oh I need a rest. Oh! But Lily said we had to run without stopping. But I'm very, very tired. Oh! Wet paint. Paint. Wet paint. Oh, bother! And Morgan couldn't resist the wet paint either. This one. Oh, oh dear. dear. Then who made the other one? Oh, I'm sorry. It was me. Well, that solves that oh. mystery, B2. Well, you can both get brushes and help paint the bench again. Oh, sure. Beats jogging. Sure it does. <laughs> I wish people would think before they did silly things, B1. It would make life a lot easier, B2. <sighs> <sighs> oh, dear. Oh, well, Amy and Morgan were going to paint the bench again anyway. But I wonder who'll wash the banana's pyjamas. Please welcome Joe Scruggs. So, how do you make a good choice? It's not always easy, is it, kids? That's why I use the six pillars to help me decide. And I've got a great little song to help you remember those six simple words. There are six simple words that you can use To be a better person if you choose Six simple words all day long Six simple words to make you strong One, can you be trusted? Two, show respect Three, are you responsible? Cause that's what we expect Four is for your fairness Five, do you care? Six good citizens always do their share. Six simple words all day long. Six simple words to make you strong. Okay, I want all of you to join in and sing along with me. Are you ready? Here we go. There are six simple words that you can use. 
To be a better person if you choose Six simple words all day long Six simple words to make you strong One, can you be trusted? Two, show respect Three, are you responsible? Cause that's what we expect Four is for your fairness Five, do you care? Six good citizens always do their share all day long, six simple words to make you strong. Six simple words all day long, six simple words to make you strong. Yeah! Well, now we know about the six pillars, but how can they help you make the right decision? Well, here's what you do. You take a big breath and you say to yourself, am I being trustworthy, respectful, responsible, caring, fair, and am I being a good citizen? And if the answer is yes, then you know you've made the right choice. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's do a dance. Everybody on your feet, come on up. It's called the Six Pillar Shuffle. We have pillars, one through six. We like to dance and do some tricks. Follow along and you will see how fun the six pillar shuffle can be. The six pillar shuffle goes like this. Twist is for trustworthiness. Roll is for respect. We're gonna reach up for responsibility. Then we blow a kiss for caring. Flap your arms for fairness. Stomp your feet for citizenship. The Six Pillar Shuffle is a kick. We think you know the way it goes because you're doing oh so fine. Now make it big. Yes, do it proud because it's Six Pillar Shuffle time. The Six Pillar Shuffle goes like this. Whoa, twist is for trustworthiness, roll is for respect. We're gonna reach up for responsibility. Blow a kiss for caring, flap your arms for fairness. Stomp your feet for citizenship, the six pillar shuffle is a kick. Now that you have got the groove, let's see how fast you can move. Maestro, please pick up the beat. Already set now, shuffle your feet. The six pillar shuffle goes like this. Twist is for trustworthiness. Roll is for respect. We're gonna reach up for responsibility. Then we blow a kiss for carry. Flap your arms for fairness. Stomp your feet for citizenship. I said the six pillar shuffle is a kick. Do it again, even faster. The six pillar shuffle goes like this. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, caring, fairness. Citizenship. The Six Pillar Shuffle is a kick. All right, now one more time. The Six Pillar Shuffle goes like this. Trustworthiness. Respect. Responsibility. Caring. Fairness. Citizenship. The Six Pillar Shuffle is a kick. I said the Six Pillar Shuffle is a kick. I said the Six Pillar Shuffle is a kick. Yeah. Get ready to duck quick, because round two of What Should You Do is about to begin. Now here's the star of the show and the pie in your eye, Duck Quick. Hey, kids. I'm Duck, quick, and it's time once again to play What Should You Do? Okay, you and your sister are playing ball in the house. 
You throw the ball and it knocks your mom's favorite lamp off of the table and it breaks. Now, what should you do? I would pick up the pieces and hope mom didn't notice. I would tell my mom the truth, say I'm sorry, and help clean up the mess. Excellent answer! It is very important to be trustworthy. Now stay tuned, kids, because there's more. What should you do? Coming up. Can you name the six pillars? Oh, Joe. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know you were saying. Trustism. Careness. Trustability is a slip and tr out. Trustworthiness. I only knew that part. Citizen, citizen, citizenship. Careness, care fairing. Uh, good. I mean, uh, trustworthiness, respect, responsibility. <laughs> I need somebody to tell me the words and I can say it when they're saying it. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, trustworthiness. Whoops, hold on, can, can I try that again? Um, uh, caring. I, I keep forgetting it. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and precision. <sighs> trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, well, I could crawl around the world. You you just watch. Why? Why are your pants you, on you fire? Just watch me. Hey, quit it. You're not supposed to do that. You know, you're not telling the truth. Oh, who am I fooling? Well, you're white. Well, and you know what happens when you don't tell the truth? The squirmy worm. You've really got to throw yourself into it if you want to be a great squirmy worm dancer, Molly. Like this! Whoops. Granny's mailbox. Maybe I can fix it. If he finds out I broke it, then he'll tell Granny Garbanzo, and if she finds out, I'll be in big trouble. There's only one thing to do, Molly. That's hide the mailbox and pretend like I never saw it. Right, Molly? Okay, I know it's not right, but I don't know what else to do. Now, let's see. Where can I hide it? Uh, okay. Uh, I know. I'll hide it in the tall grass. Wow! Oops! Sorry, Snuckle Fritz. <sighs> oh, hello, Major Bedhead. How wonderful to see you. Of course it is. And isn't this a glorious day? Oh, yeah. It's a perfect day. Ah, yes it is. Just look around. Don't look around too closely. The mailbox post! What's the matter, Major Bedhead? It doesn't have Granny Garbanzo's mailbox on it. Oh, you know, uh, Molly and I were just commenting on that very fact, weren't we? Now, what do you suppose happened to that? I don't know, but when we were coming out to the garden, uh, we noticed something very strange, didn't we? There was a, uh... 
An elephant! An elephant! Wow, that is strange. A, a big purple elephant. A big purple elephant. Hmm. And what was he doing here? I don't know, but he went over to Granny Garbanzo's mailbox and he picked it up with his trunk. <gasps> with his trunk? Ooh, boy, that's incredible. Wish I was here to see that. Oh, yeah, it was really something, wasn't it? What happened next? Next? Oh, uh, well, the elephant just, uh, took Granny Garbazzo's mailbox and uh, stomped off into the field. Well, there's only one thing to do. There is? Yeah, just look for his purple footprints. Purple footprints? No, oh, of course. In my experience, purple elephants always leave purple footprints. Of course. So, you said he went this way? Well, um, I'm not sure, but... Meow! Snickle Fritz, stop bothering me. We're looking for elephant footprints. Purple ones. Meow! <coughs> Snickle Fritz? What's your problem? We're looking for Granny Garbanzo's mailbox. Now, which way was I going? Oh, you were going that way, I'm sure. No, I think I was going this way. Oh, no! I mean, I mean um, I'm, I'm pretty sure the elephant went that way. Well, maybe he did, but I think I'm going this way. Oh, uh, no, but maybe that, that's here. really not necessary, because you see, elephant... Hey! Went what's this? <laughs> well, it, it looks just like Granny Garbanzo's mailbox. It is Granny Garbanzo's mailbox. I'd recognize it anywhere. Oh, wow, what luck. The uh, elephant must have dropped it. Annette, I'm beginning to think you made up this story about the purple elephant. Made it up? What makes you think that? Because I haven't seen a single purple elephant footprint anywhere. Okay, okay. There was no elephant. Oh, then what happened to the mailbox? I broke it. And, well, I was afraid that if Granny found out I broke it, well, she'd be really mad at me. So you lied, Lunette? Yes. I'm sorry. Good. Oh, I almost forgot the reason I came here in the first place. Special delivery for Lunette the Clown. Oh, goody, thanks. I hope it's from my Auntie Macassar. It is. Dear Lunette, I actually wanted to send a postcard to Granny Garbanzo, but I knew her mailbox was broken. Hey. How did she know about Granny Garbanzo's mailbox? Yesterday, when I heard about it, I, I wanted to extend my sympathies because I know how sad it is to lose a mailbox. When she heard yesterday, you mean the mailbox was already broken? That means I didn't break it. My advice to Granny is remove the mailbox from the pot. <laughs> well, some clown might bump into it, knock it off, and then they think that they broke it. <laughs> and we wouldn't want that to happen now, would we? <laughs> Love ya, Andy McCasser. <laughs> Whew, oh, I feel so much better. Everything's gonna be okay. Lunette, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, you bet. What lesson? It never, ever, ever, ever pays to lie. Oh, you're right about that, Major Bedhead. But there's only one thing I have to ask you. Anything, Lunette. Do you ever lie? Me? I love to lie. In fact, I think I'll lie right now. Lie down. <laughs> oh, Major Bedhead. <laughs> Happy lying down. Sick and back, 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 back. Get out of there, this is too heavy. And, oh man, it's gross. And back, back, when it's in the best bit. Well, they're fine and we can then see. What? Oh, gross. All right, let's get bored. Whoa. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
get out of here. Let's say, baby, we're here. Hello? Is there something called a brain in here? Hey, who's that? Who are you? I'm that little voice that lives inside your head. It tells you the difference between right and hey, wrong. Get out of there! It's no use. I'm here to stay, and you're gonna listen to what I have to say. I am the little voice that lives inside your head. Huh? In the morning when you rise, until you go to bed. Whoa. I am called your conscience. Conscience? And it's plain to see. Just listen to your inner voice. Uh. Your conscience is the key. Get away from me! When you have to make a choice and don't know what to do, Listen to this little song and it will come to you Every time you make a choice Try and you will see Listen to your inner voice I don't want to Your conscience is the key uh. Every day, in every way There's choices you will make Some are very easy, you will see Like should I have some cake? Other choices make it hard like, should I steal or cheat? Listen up, and you'll go far. When you make a choice, you'll see. Your conscience is the key. It's the key. When you have to make a choice and don't know what to do, listen to this little song, and it will come to you. Every time you make a choice, try and you will see. Listen to your inner voice. Your conscience is the key. I got the key. Your friend may say that it's okay to do a thing that's wrong. Temptations, they will come to me. That's why I sing this song. Stand tall and heed the call. Stop and think it through. This will help you see. Your inner voice knows what to do. Your conscience is the key. It's the key. When you have to make a choice uh -huh. and don't know what to do, I know. Listen to this little song and it will come to you. It's coming. Every time you make a choice, I got it. Try and you will see. Listen to your inner voice. Your conscience is the key. Yes, listen to your inner voice. Your conscience is the key. My conscience is the key. All right, most excellent, I have this conscience thing. So what are you going to do about all this trash? It's quite easy. Watch me just pick it up. I worked really silly running around like that. He sure did, but he was just listening to his conscience. Conscience? Oh, yeah. I remember that from watching Wishbone. What's the story, Wishbone? What's this you're dreaming of? Such big imagination on such a little... These are my 10th favorite, mm, and my 11th favorite, anyway, I love them.
Emily, what happened to all the cookies? He ate them all. You know that's not true, and he shouldn't be eating cookies. Emily, we've been busted by the diet police. David! I did not expect this of you. What? I found this upstairs in the closet. What? You know how important Grandma's vase is to me. But a vase is just a vase. I'd rather have you tell me what happened than to try to hide it. I'm really disappointed. Mom, you got this all wrong. I didn't touch it. David, it's not just the vase. It's the principle. I'm talking to David, Emily. It's important. But, Mom! Okay. What is it? I believe this. What? Honey. Really? David, I think I owe you an apology. I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions. Emily, I gotta hand it to you. You may look like a little kid, but you faced up to a big problem. I'm so proud of you for telling the truth today. What made you change your mind? I don't know what it was. I just had a feeling. A feeling? Mm-hmm, inside. <gasps> you know what that feeling is? That feeling is your conscience. Everybody has one. Yeah, you just have to listen to it, even when it barely whispers. It'll tell you a lot of really important things. Now, what do you say we go wash your face with some cold water, okay? And don't worry about that old face. You've been very brave. Let's go. You know, the bravest heart can be in the smallest body. You have to show us all the pictures as soon as you get them developed. Okay. Can he eat ice cream? Yes, of course. Raised on the stuff. No, although I wonder what can't he eat. <laughs> Mom, my conscience says I better have two scoops. <gasps> Emily, what a coincidence. You're a mind reader. Well, are you sure that's your conscience talking? Or your tummy? Mm -mm. Emily, you look like you might need a hand with that. Can I have a little bite, please? Please? Here it comes, the final round of What Should You Do? Now, let's hear it one last time for our lovable pie toten host, Duck Quick. Hello again, kids. Duck Quick here, and it's time once again to play What Should You Do? Okay, you find a wallet on the playground. Now, what should you do? 
I take it and put it in my pockets. I take out the money and throw the wallet away. I would take it to my teacher and ask him what to do with it. Ready to answer. What a great way to be a good neighbor. That concludes another exciting game of What Should You Do? This program was brought to you by Moral Fiber Cereal. The breakfast of choice when you're choosing which choice to choose. I'm Duck Quick saying so long. And cut. Bye bye now. Okay, Duck. See you later, alligator. Duck. After a duck, while, duck, crocodile. Duck, cut. Fill in, penguin. Duck, what part oh, of cut do you not understand? Cut. Not now, brown cow. You're done. Manana iguana. Get duck out of here. I rode Jake's bike without asking him first. I should have known better. That's for sure. So what are you going to do about it? I'm going to fess up. I got myself in a pickle. I'm feeling really bad. I've gone and done something. Make my friend real sad. I went and rode his bike, and now it's got a flat. Now it's time for action. Don't you be a wreck. When it's the wrong choice you choose, you want to be in someone else's shoes. Yes, you do. Like brand new. Tell my friend I'm sorry. Yes, that's the thing to do. Now you're on the track. You're learning how to mend. Make it right when it goes wrong. I'm proud to be your friend. When it's the wrong choice you choose, you want to be in someone else's shoes. Yes, you do. bike back to Jake before I break it again. Yeah, I'll go with you. Let's go. Yeah. You know, it's always better to tell the truth. Yeah. Good day. Who made this big mess? Me? I did not. <laughs> Just kidding. I know I made the mess, which means I have to clean it up. So get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready, set, go. may be the best policy, but it sure can tire you out. Why? <sighs> ah, come on, Molly. <laughs> Choices are what it's all about, that we've learned without a doubt. Choosing to be glad or sad, choosing between good and bad. We make choices.
Welcome everybody to the Character Counts Community Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome Eddie Coker. All right, you better have a great time today. Now I'd like for everybody to help me bring an end to this great celebration with a rip-roaring version of a little song called Choices Count. Yes, Ed. Well, you've got to make a choice count. Every day now, every way now, at your school now, throw it out your cool now. Don't forget to make a count. Don't forget to make your choices count. to you by the member organizations of the Character Counts Coalition, a project of the Josephson Institute of Ethics. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's meet some of the members of the Character Counts team. From youth development and sports organizations, please welcome American Youth Soccer Organization, Babe Ruth League, Big Brothers Big Sisters of America, Boys and Girls Clubs of America, Boys Town, USA, Campfire Boys and Girls, 
H. Leadership Institute. National Association of Police Athletic League. National Federation of Catholic Youth Ministries. United States Youth Soccer Association. YMCA of the USA. Youth Volunteer Corps of America. Young Men's and Women's Hebrew Association. And now, from National Education and Civic Organizations, please welcome American Red Cross. American Association of Community Colleges. Goodwill Industries International. American Federation of Teachers. American Association of School Administrators. Lions Quest International. National Association of Secondary School Principals. National Education Association. National Association for Family and Community Education. And the National Council of La Raza. From Character Counts Community Organizations, please welcome Albuquerque, New Mexico. Bakersfield, California. Dallas, Texas. El Segundo, California. Gaithersburg, Maryland. Glenview, Illinois. Leesburg, Florida. Martin County, Florida. Salem, Kaiser, Oregon. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Sullivan County, Tennessee. Talbot County, Maryland. Toledo, Ohio. And Tulare County, California. These are just a few of the more than 200 organizations that make up the Character Counts Team. Hello again. I hope you enjoyed Choices Count. And just as importantly, I hope your children learned something from it. You know, this video is just one project of the Character Counts Coalition, and two others that you might be interested in are the American Youth Character Awards, a local, regional, and national award program for young people of character. And the second program is the Character Counts All-Stars. That's a program that bring, brings famous athletes to your school or your community. Now, if you're interested in either of these programs, or if you just want to know how to make your community part of the Character Counts Coalition, please write us at the address on your screen, and thank you.
Coming to home video April 1996. The future is ours. We are kids for character. Kids for Character brings together over 30 of your favorite television and video characters in one special video. They want you to have fun learning the six simple words of character. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. There are six simple words that you can With scenes from The Puzzle Place, Barney and His Friends, Scholastic's The Magic School Bus, Lamb Chop's Play Along, Nick Jr.'s Gullah Gullah Island, and Babar. This video will help your child learn all about character. Yeah, and just think what a better world it would be if every kid was a kid for character. The Kids for Character video is coming to a store near you, April 1996. Years ago, in ancient Greece, there lived a man who was the strongest of the strong, the bravest of the brave, the wisest of the wise. His name, Hercules. Hercules? That's impossible. It, it can't be. But it is. Experience all the strength of this legendary hero as portrayed by the one and only Wishbone. Mm. I mm. can't talk. That's right. It's Wishbone in one of his most powerful roles ever. Face it, Nereus. Your trickery cannot fool me. When our hero is sent on a quest to retrieve three golden apples, he must first get past fierce dragons. Dragons? I definitely do not like dragons. Then it's on to Mount Olympus, where he must outsmart the titan Atlas. Now that could be a problem. Experience the grandeur. I await your command. The spectacle. Hey, my bone! It's gone! Someone stole my bone! The excitement. Mm. And so our hero returns victorious. One man whose story transcends the ages. Whoa, that would make him 280 in dog years. One dog who can always sniff out a good adventure. I want a slice with a letter on it and somebody get this hat off of me right now. Hello? It's Hercules Unleashed from Lyric Studios. Fetch your copy today. Also available from Big Red Chair Books, a division of Lyric Publishing, The Adventures of Wishbone Books. What's the story, Wishbone? It's the age-old dilemma. I want to do something exciting, something different. So you're looking for adventure. Oh, I see. You're not looking for ordinary fun. You've kind of got an itch for something big. Well, get ready to scratch that itch because... Adventure waits on the other side of this fence. And I am out of here! Adventure now comes with four legs and a tail. <coughs> it's Wishbone, the little dog with the big imagination. And he's ready to leap into one of the biggest adventures of all time. Mark Twain's Tom Sawyer. Come out if you're not afraid to face Tom Sawyer the Pirate! The furs are flying as Tom Sawyer and his trusty companion, Huck Finn, set out to have some good old-fashioned fun. Oh, this is so exciting. That's right. It's two back-to-back -back episodes. First, the fun never ends with Tom and Huck on Jackson Island. I'm the captain, and I say it's time to roll in the leaves. <laughs> Swing on back to Oakdale with Joe, David, Sam, and Wishbone as they go in search of the mysterious no-name grave. But the fun doesn't stop there, because Tom and Huck can't seem to stay out of trouble, like investigating their own mysterious graveyard. Chasing down all the bad guys, digging for treasure in haunted houses, and exploring old caves. Even with all this excitement, you'll be hungry for more. Delicious! It's two great episodes on one terrific video. And now it's time for the Wishbone Floor Show! Fetch your copy of A Tale in Twain from Lyric Studios. 
Also available from Big Red Chair Books, a division of Lyric Publishing, The Adventures of Wishbone Books. She's by my side. It's nice outside. All right, concentrate. I met her in my pajamas. In the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. In my pajamas. All right, in my pajamas. In the Bahamas. <laughs> the first day of school, my teacher said, Why don't you draw a picture for your parents? So I drew a picture of an alligator and I named him Terrence. When I gave that picture to my mom, she said, I love pink alligators. Then she bought some magnets and she put my picture on the refrigerator. And she said she put it there so that my picture and how proud she is of me now when the teacher asks me why a drawing takes so long I say cause it's a refrigerator picture for my mom refrigerator refrigerator picture for my mom Thank you.